There's a couple of things we now need to do to handle the end of the game. When we see the end of game screen, just like we do over on the right, we also want to reintroduce our new game button. This is the one over in our index.html. And this is this one just here, which is going to basically refresh the browser so we can then select our game mode. We're also going to make sure once the game is over that the player can no longer add any values into this input field. So if we keep going inside of here, we can still enter values and they are still logged as our previous attempts and also pushed to the array. So to do this, we're going to go over to our script and create a game ended function. So up at the top, just below our variables is where I'm going to create mine. The function name of game ended. And step one is going to be to reintroduce our new game button. So index, this was the ID of new game button. So we can do this by resetting the display type. Just below here, we set this new game button to be the display type of none. So let's copy this line and add this into our game ended function. And all we need to do is to change the display type to be in line. Just after this, we're also going to add a new attribute to this input field. So this is the one just here. We're going to set this to be read only as soon as the game has ended. So the user can no longer enter any new values. So the first step is to grab this element. And the ID which we're going to grab this by is our input box. We can see this over in our index page. This is our input and the ID of input box. And to add a new attribute to our element, we can use a method called set attribute. The first thing we need to enter is the attribute name, which is read only. I'm going to set this to a value of read only. We now need to call this game ended function once we complete the game. So scroll down to our compare guest function, which is just here. And our game is effectively over in any of these sections where we call either correct or you lose. So starting from the top, the first correct section or you lose is this one just here. We can then call our game ended function. So let's copy this and keep going down. We also have you lose section here, which means the game is over. We can also call our function. We have a you lose section. The game is over. And finally, we have a correct section down at the very bottom where we can call this same function. So over to the browser and let's check this out. We'll go for the hard mode and let's quickly enter any values to end our game. So we lose, we see the new game button and we can now no longer add any new values into our input field. However, now if we try to click on the new game button, we don't see anything happen inside the browser. And all we're going to do to this button is to enable it to reload the browser, which is going to take us back to this start screen. So over in our index.html, we can add a on click event handler to this button. So in the opening tag, on click, I'm going to set this to a new function called new game. Back to our script. And let's add this just under game ended. So this was new game. And the way we can reload the browser inside of our code is by selecting the window dot location and then call a method called reload. Let's check this is working and end our game. So add any random values inside here. We now see the end screen. Click on a new game and we now take them back to the start screen.